The earth in which we live in is made up of several things. Some of these things can grow, move around and even have babies. Wow! While others just stay still and don't change. Look around you. The objects and things that we see around can be sorted into two basic types. Living things and non-living things. Living things and non-living things. How are they different? Living things are alive. They can grow, move and breathe. Things that are alive are non-living things. Things like toys, rocks and buildings are non-living things. Amazing! All the plants and animals including people like you and me are living things. There are other living things like bacteria, viruses and fungi that are so small and they can only be viewed under a microscope. These organisms are called microorganisms. Non-living things can be largely grouped into natural things and man-made things. Mountains, water, rocks and soils and space objects like planets and stars are all formed naturally. Man-made things are objects or items that have been made by humans. Your vehicles, houses and buildings, toys and machines are all man-made non-living things. Living things and non-living things. How are they different? Let's find out. Growth. Living things can grow. Growth is a super cool thing that living things can do. Living things can grow and change over time. It's like when you start out as a tiny baby and then as time goes on, you get bigger and taller. Animals like kittens or puppies do the same thing. They start out small and grow up into big cats or dogs. Wow! Plants also grow, but instead of getting taller like us, they might grow more leaves or flowers. So whether it's you, your pet or a flower in the garden, growth is what makes living things get bigger and change as they become adults. No living things do not grow or develop. Look at this rock. It will not grow or develop and it will stay the same size and shape. Unlike living organisms, non-living things like rocks or buildings stay the same and don't change by themselves as the years go by. They keep their shape and look the way they always did. Movement Living things have the ability to move or change position on their own. People can move various parts of their bodies, from walking and running to moving their arms and fingers. Most animals can move from one place to another. They can walk, run, fly, swim or crawl. While plants generally don't move from place to place, they can exhibit movement in different ways. For example, flowers may open and close. And some plants turn their leaves to face the sun. Non-living things in general do not have the ability to move on their own. Items like rocks, chairs and toys do not move by themselves. They may move only if someone or something pushes or pulls them. Basic Life Requirements Air, Water and Food All living things need air, water and food to stay alive. All living things need energy. Energy is like the power that living things need to move, grow and carry out their life processes. Animals and people eat food to get energy. It's like the fuel that helps them grow, move and do all the things they need to do. 
plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis using sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. All living things need water to live. It's like a special drink that keeps them healthy. Water helps our body by keeping it moist and hydrated. Water carries important nutrients to different parts of our body. Air is very important for living things, including humans, animals and plants. It is the invisible mixture of gases that surrounds us and allows us to breathe and stay alive. Just like how you take breaths of fresh air to feel good, all living things need air too. Non-living things do not require water, air, nor food. Toys or books or tables don't have bodies like living things. They don't need water or air or food to do what they do. Reproduction All living things can reproduce. Reproduction is when living things create more of their own kind. For example, animals can have babies and plants can make seeds to grow new plants. Humans, like you, were once tiny babies. So cute! And they grow. They can have their own babies when they are older. Reproduction is important because it ensures that different kinds of living things from animals to plants to people continue to exist and thrive. But non-living things do not reproduce. Non-living things such as toys or buildings don't have babies or make more of themselves. Your favorite toy doesn't have baby toys. If you get a new toy, it's usually made by people, not by the toy itself. Response Living things respond to the world around them. Living things can do cool things when something around them changes. This is called responding. If you see a cute puppy and you go near it, it might wag its tail because it's happy to see you. The puppy is responding to your presence. Plants also can respond to their environment in various ways. Plants can turn or bend towards light. Some plants flower in response to changes in day length. Flowers might open in the morning and close at night. The shedding of leaves by trees in the fall is indeed a response to the environment. And also, if you touch something hot, like a stove, your hand quickly moves away. Oh no! That's your body responding to the heat to keep you safe. But non-living things like rocks, buildings or toys can't do anything on their own when something changes. They stay the way they are. Cells Another fascinating difference that sets living things apart from non-living things is that all living things are made up of cells. All living things like plants, animals and even you are made up of cells. Living things are made up of tiny building blocks called cells. The cell is the basic unit of life. Cells are so tiny that they can only be seen with a microscope. These cells work together to do all the amazing things that living things can do, like growing, moving and even breathing. It's like having a superhero team inside every living thing. On the other hand, non-living things such as toys, rocks and chairs don't have these tiny cells. Okay, let's sum it up. What makes living things and non-living things different and interesting? Can you name some? Of course I can. Living things can grow. Non-living things cannot grow. Living things can move. But non-living things cannot move. All living things need air, water and food. 
but non living things do not need air water nor food all living things can reproduce but non living things cannot reproduce living things respond but non living things do not respond living things are made of cells but non living things are not made up of cells awesome please subscribe thank you for watching bye bye